you just forget how to have fun. You just forget. You try in so much to make your children have as much as they can out of life. But then as parents, you forget to have fun. And um, if you're not careful, you just lose, you know, your relationship and, and things like that. It's not really something you can explain to somebody. And I know that sounds really silly, because I can sit here and tell you it's hard, but I'd want you to know just how hard it is. But unless you experience that yourself, you could never imagine. Doesn't matter, like, how strong you are. Doesn't matter how much family support you've got or friend support or, you know, whatever. This is something that is so difficult. He's got spinal muscular atrophy, renders him very, very weak. Um, we have to do everything for him, but um, it doesn't affect him mentally. And he is your typical 10-year-old little boy, um, not so little anymore, um, who just needs a lot of help physically. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Someone has to watch him almost 24 hours a day. I'm up two, three times in the night. I can't leave him for more than 10 minutes at a time. Someone has to be there because he has a tendency to stop breathing. She went to nursery as usual one day and I got a telephone call saying to pick her up because she wasn't walking. Um, I collected her and took her straight to accident and emergency where they done some bloods and they came back to me in that same evening and said to me, she's got leukaemia. Uh, it is difficult to talk about it. His name actually meant brave as a lion. Just absolutely beautiful. That's when he was diagnosed with leukaemia. Cancer is quite a frightening word, really. And to hear that one of your children is going to have to face that battle is quite overwhelming. Because in the natural order of things, you never believe that there is a possible chance that you might outlive your child. Rainbow Trust is an amazing organisation that works with families who have a child with a life-threatening or terminal illness. Rainbow cannot change the diagnosis and we can't cure, but we can and we do help families cope. And we do this through our teams of family support workers up and down the country who spend time with families helping them in whatever way is needed. This support is not available from any other organisation, which makes the support we can offer flexible, unique and vital. Our service is adapted for every family and it's available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Every day of my working life can be, can be so different. Um, it's just so tailored to um, individual families and what they need. Can you tickle his ears? <laughs> the hardest thing actually is probably not being able to do enough. I still remember when Brian from the Rainbow Trust, um, he knocked on our door. He's been there after he's had operations. He's seen us come home, supported us at home. He can help Jack with his secretions, with his suctioning, with his trachea with his um, gastro feeds. The most important part for me is that sense of making it somehow a little bit easier in some way and being there for them and knowing that we're there for them when they really need us. Such a wonderful organisation, you know. I mean, I'm trying to sort of keep myself together. James trying to keep himself together, but Brian's trying to keep both of us together. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, we would all like to spend a lot more time with the families because we know how much they value the support and it's difficult to walk away from them and leave them to cope on their own. It got me. At the moment, we're really only scratching the surface. We only are able to look after about 10% of the families that need our help uh, and their ambition is to make that 10% into 100%.
we receive less than 5% government funding, so it's only lack of funding that is stopping us help the other families. Our vision is that one day that every family who has a terminally ill child will have access to a Rainbow Family Support Worker. No other organisation provides the range of support and the level of consistency of contact than we do at Rainbow Trust. Without the Rainbow Trust, when Ben is sick, we would be at our wit's end. Without the Rainbow Trust, I think I would have fallen to pieces by now. The support that they give is incredible. This is a very important year for us. This year, Rainbow Trust is celebrating its 25th anniversary. Yeah, we've come a long way in 25 years. From the, the early, early stories of how um, Bernadette supported a neighbour to what it is today, the eight care teams that we've got um, in the country and hopefully more in the future as well. So our Silver Jubilee year is quite an achievement. However, it's still only some of the small steps we continue to need to take to make Rainbow something that everybody who has a sick child can actually access locally. I believe that the work that Rainbow does is of such good quality that more and more people should get the benefit of the work we do. Definitely let the Rainbow Trust in. You know, once you do, you won't want to let them out. <laughs>